Hey YouTube, it's been up. This is Andy here from We Are All Around Gaming, and this is a quick battle that I had. I just grabbed six pokes from the box and said, "Let's go battle somebody." So I found this guy in the Smogon Wi-Fi Battle Finder, and he was like, "Yeah, I'll battle you." So I got a new layout, as you can see. It's pretty cool. A lot of raiding, raging. So I thought that he would lead off with his with his frost last. So I just lead off with my oh, what was that? With my Tyranitar just to get my sand up, and because I thought he'd leave with Frostlass to get up spikes or something. So the funny thing about this Tyranitar is it's actually a choice band set, and it kicks ass. I'm just gonna say that right now. So he taunts me thinking that I'm some sort of like uh stealth rocker one, but no, I'm a flipping choice banded one, and I'm really, really surprised that that didn't kill. I was like, whoa! And then, of course, the sandstorm doesn't kill. And he has leftovers. So now I know he's going to try to Destiny Bond, and I really need Tyranitar to take on Reuniclus. So I go into my Faded. My Jirachi, which is a sub called mine. That's why it's named Faded. So right here, I'm just going to substitute, expecting him to Destiny Bond again, and he does. I get a lot of predictions right in this match, which is just great. I really wish I would have brought a competitive team for this one. Because this guy has a he has a strange team, as you can see from the side. It's just like a team full of... It's got two walls and like sweepers. And four sweepers. So he's going to try to Destiny Bond again. But I'm just going to calm mind up. And this is looking bad for him. And now I know he has a Heat Ran. And just before this battle, I taught my Jirachi Psy Shock, and I had Thunderbolt, which would have really helped me in this battle a lot. It would have made it a lot shorter. So he's going to taunt again, expecting me to calm mine, but I predict that like a pro, and I just go for the Flash Cannon, and I take him out. I don't really understand the Destiny Bond mechanics. I like I thought that was going to kill me, but apparently it doesn't. If you know about like the Destiny Bond... Mechanics, please leave a comment or something. Explain it. So now he's gonna sound his heat ran. Now I'm gonna ch I'm gonna see what kind of set this is right here. If he goes for some sort of attacking move that he's more than likely offensive, but he goes for the stealth rocks, which tells me that he is specially defensive with max HP and probably max special defense. So I'm thinking, eh, meh. I'm just gonna stay in because I have a free substitute. I'm just gonna psy shock. Maybe I'll get a crit. Maybe I'll get lucky. And I don't get the crit. And he's just going to lava plume. I'm kind of a little bit surprised. Well, not really surprised. But I was kind of hoping that th that didn't break my sub. Because I had a calm mind. And this is a specially defensive one. So it probably doesn't have any investment in special attack. So we're just going to get our lefties. Our taunt wears off. And I know he's just going to go for the lava plume again. Because he doesn't want to overpredict. So I'm going to go into my bitches. The Rotom W. He's in a lava plume. Now, I was really hoping that he didn't get a burn, because that just would have sucked. And I'm buffing by the sandstorm, which is just going to add more. And now I'm thinking that these uh, stealth rocks are going to be a pain. Now, I'm predicting here that he's going to switch into his Gastrodon, because that's the only thing he do. So I'm just going to go into my fortress to try to spin away rocks, or maybe set up my own stealth rocks. Now here I was really realizing, oh god, what if he switches into Volcarona? So I'm just going to set up my Stealth Rocks here. I was debating whether I should Rapid Spin or not, and he switches into Volcarona, and I'm like, oh shit. Now here's where my problems, they just start to happen. So luckily the Sandstorm is wearing it down, which is really nice, and I'm up at sturdy. So now I'm going to switch into my Sand and Pants. Choice banded Tyranitar. And he's gonna quiver dance here. So I'm thinking I th I'm thinking I can live a a bug buzz. I have special defense EVs in the sandstorm. So and Tyranitar is just a beast. And he bug buzzes. And watch this. I was uh I'm just so surprised. He kills. I did not expect that. I thought I could live in Stone Edge, and I'm thinking, oh shit, I'm gonna get swept. So I do have Stone Edge on my Conkledur, 
and I was really thinking I could live a fire a flamethrower, but he has the fire blast, so I'm thinking, oh, no, I'm probably not going to live this. Nope, and I don't live, which really, really screwed me over because I needed Conkledur to take out his team. Ah, oh, that just sucks. And I'm thinking, I'm in a tight position. So I'm going to go into shit yo pants Gengar, and he goes for fire blast, he misses, and I go for the shadow ball. And wait till you see what happens. I get a crit. Oh my god, that saved my ass. I never get any good crits. And I finally got one that saved my ass. So that Volcarona is down. Now he's going to send in his Scrafty. What I should have done here is I should have gone for the Substitute. I'm a, instead of going for the Focus Blast, I should have disabled his Crunch the next turn. So he couldn't really do anything to me. Which would have been really nice. And I... He, and he lives barely. And he goes for the crunch. And he takes me out. That just... Ugh. I should have went for the substitute. But I didn't. So that's going to cost me a lot right there. And he gets the moxie boots. Which is not going to matter. Because he's buffed by the sandstorm. And he's down. So right here I know he's going to send in his reuniclus. So I go for my Jirachi. Because I know I can win one on one. Because I have the Psy Shock and a Calm Mind battle. So I'm just going to go for the substitute. And he's going to surprise me here with a Trick Room. Which is really going to suck a lot because I have a lot of fast pokes. Well, not really, but... So he's just going for the Shadow Ball to break my Substitute. I really didn't think that was going to break it. But I guess I'm just overestimating Jirachi a little bit. And I go for the Calm Mind. Now, I, I know that... Uh... He probably can't break it, my substitute now with the Shadow Ball. So I'm just going to set up another substitute. And he sends out his Heat Ran. I'm like, oh, yes, I get to do some more Calm Minding. Maybe I can Calm Mind him and get to death and get a plus six. So I get greedy here and I go... Hold on, I'm a little bit ahead of myself. Just a little bit. I always do that. Gotta get some lefties recovery. Mm. So I go for the Calm Mind here. And I'm like, what? There's Trick Room. Is he Choice Scarfed? What? No. He has Roar. Which really sucks. I don't know if I can play through that. Now, I I know I, I still have my Rotom W and that Gastrodon is still alive. So this, I really have to do something about that Gastrodon. So this battle is looking pretty bleak here. Because I know he's going to go into that Gastrodon, so I'm just going to Will-O-Wisp. I really need a Conkledur. Conkledur was just hum huge in this battle. I really needed him, and I should not have sacked him that early. I should have done something else. Like, I probably should have done something else before. Just, I don't even know. That Volcarona just fucked me over. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. It screwed me over. So, Dimensions turn to normal here, so... I'm just going to pain split, and he is going to go for the Earth Power, predicting my Jirachi switch in, which he's trying to play mind games with me here. And now, I was predicting a Toxic, but I stay in like an idiot. I should have gone into Jirachi. So I Thunderbolt here to see what he does, just for lulz, and he recovers, and I was like, ugh! Oh, God, that's that's an idiot play. I knew I should have gone in Jirachi because I was kind of predicting a Toxic. So this battle is just looking super bleak. I was like, oh, God. But looking at his team at the beginning, I thought that he was kind of newbie. And he wasn't going to know much because he just slapped random guys on a team. But kind of like I did. But these they actually have somewhat of a strategy. Like, there's a Choice Band Tyranitar. It takes out Conkledur's threats. So he poisons me here. And I'm like, oh, God. And then I make... Idiot play number two this this round. Or this turn. I switch into my Jirachi. And I, I was I I didn't thought he was gonna go for like Scald or something. But I switch into my Jirachi like an idiot. And watch how much his earth power does. I was surprised. I was like, wow. And I, and now that my Jirachi's almost dead. I know I lost this. I spoilers. I there's nothing else I can do because he still has that heat ran, and I'm just. Uh. 
So I know I don't really upload a lot of battles where I lose because I really don't have that much where I lose. So I, I congratulate him here. I said GG. I'm sorry about the little bit of hacks that I got, but hacks always makes up. So thanks for watching. Please like it if you like the layout or leave a comment what you think about it. And at the bottom right corner, there's a little subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that because if you don't, you're going to be missing out. Thanks you for watching.